What's going on family? This video is sponsored by Slab City Jigs. Be sure to go check them out at slabcityjigs.com. We have come together and made a custom line of soft plastics for you guys. Go get you a couple individual packs or you can pick up this custom 903 fishing kit right here available on the website right now. Y'all be sure to stick around and see these jigs in action. Y'all stay tuned. On YouTube this is 903 fishing well guys today I am fishing Lake Wright Patman Spillway and we are below the dam okay I got my big bro with me right here say what's up Jacob he's you know kind of shy behind the camera but it's all good guys there's been a lot of crappie being caught here below the spillway so we decided to come on and check it out I'm in town for the weekend and for those of y'all who don't know Lake Wright Patman is actually my my, my home lake okay uh, the spillway right here, going up back off this way, uh, my dad started me fishing here when I was about five or six years old. Now, the spillway is back here, and we are down the river a little bit, okay? So what we're going to be doing today, guys, we're going to see what works best, but we're going to be throwing double jig rigs with ACC crappie sticks, okay? Slab City jigs, and... We're gonna see if we can't run across some crappie today. I appreciate y'all for clicking on this video. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, God bless you. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. If you haven't hit that subscribe button and you love crappie fishing, we do it all here on the 903 Fishing Channel from the boat bank, kayak, John boat. It really doesn't matter. Any type of crappie fishing you can imagine, we do it here. So y'all smash that subscribe button. And also if you wanna learn more about crappie fishing, this is definitely the channel for you. All right, guys, Jacob, you ready to go? All right, guys, we're about to get to it. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, I wanted to show y'all the fish finder real quick. Hummingbird Helix 7, okay? Look at all the bait fish right here. This is bait fish, guys, and just fish in general. And that's what happens a lot of the times when you're spillway fishing. These fish come in here and can't go nowhere. So we're sitting in 12 feet of water. It's a little bit deeper out here, but... That's where we're going to be throwing our double jig rig out this way. We're going to see if we can't run across the fish. Let's go. Got him? Jacob's hooked up. What you got there, partner? Oh, oh, oh. Jake, that could be a keeper right there. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm not even... Jacob, I was recording him and I got nailed. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Wow, that's not going to be a keep, but I mean, that's a decent fish. That's a decent fish. Ten and a, ten and a quarter, okay. Is it, is it a keeper? Oh, it's a little over ten. That's not much. Look at that, guys. A little crappie. We're going to throw that one back. What does it look like? Oh, that's ten and a quarter, man. Here. Hop that in there. In there, baby. Hey, guys, we, we got one in the live well already, so that's two in the live well. But we're going to see. I wasn't even trying to catch a fish. I was filming my brother. And then boom. All right, guys. We have good old thump gel, baby. Now, I put this on at the beginning of the video. Forgot to show you guys. But you apply that thump gel on there, baby. Fish attractant right here. Be sure you go to thumpgel.com use code 903 get you 10 percent off okay they got five different flavors now on the website this is the cranking right here cranking gel but it works for any soft plastic guys any soft plastic all right guys we got these double jig rigs now jacob's using the 76 acc crappie sticks i'm using the 661 piece we're both using double jig rig with two one sixteenth ounce jig head so it's taking a while for those jigs to fall and then once it reaches the bottom we're just giving it slow pop slow reel off of the bottom if they run across it they hit it what i think these crappie are doing in this spillway they're schooling back and forth chasing bait so 
you could catch a lot of fish really quick and then not get bit then when that school comes back around then you're catching fish again and again feels better oh 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 that's probably a keeper bro so. go ahead yeah for sure go ahead and see what that look if that's not a keeper then he's i mean he's right there oh oh he came off Hey. What do you think? Uh, He's well. close, man. Yeah. There he is. He's there close. he is. He yeah, you can tow it back. That's a little better fish right there. So many crappie guys. I mean, I wouldn't say crappie on every cast, but it's <laughs> every other cast, there's a fish. Let's go get another one. I tell you what, you know what guys, I've said this in previous videos, I'm gonna say it again. It's not all about catching giant fish. If, if you love fishing, you know, you're just happy to be out here. I'm, I'm happy to be out here today. Got my brother with me on the boat, able to fish, catch fish. I mean, it don't get no better than that. Of course, we'd wanna catch some bigger fish, but you know what? Filling that crappie thump that slab city jig, I'll take it any day of the week. There he is. Uh oh, bro. Uh oh, if that's a crappie, then could be a better fish here. Oh yeah, look at that. Hey, I think. Shoot, let's see what he's looking like, guys. Maybe right at ten or so. Oh, bro, ten and a half. Hey, ten and a half. Let's go. Let's go. That's not bad right that there. So long to hold That's a decent fish. Look, I got bit. Oh, we're doubling. Look, I got bit, Jacob. I got bit. Fil filming him, I got bit. Look at that, Jacob. Uh oh. Say, man, hey, this might be. Oh. Look at that. What needing? I mean, I don't know. Look at that, guys. I don't know if this is 10, bro. Close. Oh, a 10 and a half, almost 11. <laughs> hey, guys, that's, that is a good eater fish. Now, I've also said this in previous videos. You know, these, hey, these 10 and a halves, 12 inch crappie right here, that is a perfect eater. I mean, you can't beat that perfect little fillet off there put that in there let's go well let's go see if we can catch another one uh, that one hit it on the fall about an eight incher look at that crappie guy not too bad put that one back oh jacob oh and the bottom one looks like a keeper jacob it is flip him up there oh it's a white bass get that white out. bass and a crappie hey uh take that crappie off first let me see it that might be might be a keeper there right he there he came off yeah. he came off all right let me see that jacob ten and a half nice let's go film? let's go baby yeah i'm recording oh, nice. look at there i don't know how many we got in here now jacob about six or seven maybe maybe more than that all right guys let's keep on going okay guys i'm gonna make a switch here hadn't really talked about the jigs today but jacob is tearing them up on pink right mm -hmm. all right well i'm gonna throw pink on the bot on my bottom here and see what happens that pink slab city baby just like that pink slab city we're gonna see if that makes a little difference or not. Uh-oh. That a boy. That's a good one. That's, that's my boy Matt Johnson over there, guys. A little old college buddy. Done met him down here. Putting a little keeper in the boat over there. This one ain't gonna make the cut, but oh well. See if we can't go get a keeper. Oh, look at there, look at there. 
Hey, that's that's out there, bro. Look at that. Crappie? Yeah, it's crappie. Hey, hey. Let me see that checka. May have one here, folks. May have one. Let's see what it's looking like. Jacob just threw back one right under 10. Hey, man. Oh, 10 and a quarter, almost just shy of 10 and a half. Oh. Nice. Let's go. Let's go, baby. I think we got about 10 in the live well right now, guys. I mean, it's not bad. I think we're doing better than a lot of other people here. He hit that sucker on the fall. He hit it on the fall. I mean, that's a better fish. I mean, it's not going to keep, I don't think, but that's a little better fish right there, guys. Ah, need, need him a few more inches longer. Hey, man, that, this pink right here from Slab City, guys, with that thump gel is wrecking them right now. Dude, we're talking whacked it, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that one, bro. What do you think about that fish, guys? That's a good. I'm talking about inhale that slab city. Look, guys. I mean, it's all the way down. Oh, man. There he is, guys. That's going to be a keeper. 11. Yep. All right, man. Well, let's go. Let's see if we can get some more, baby. All right, guys, we've made a little move. And when I mean a little move, I mean a little move. It was right here on this point at the mouth of the old river bed. Now we done moved out a little bit. Okay. Okay. Got him? But like Is that a crappie? Oh my gosh. That's a good one. Yeah. Get him. It's a good one. There he is. <laughs> hey, uh oh, that's a good one. That's a good one, Jacob. That's gonna be a keeper right there. Oh yeah, for sure. Look at that one, guys. That's gonna be a keep. I'm gonna call this one, Jacob. Oh yeah, look at that. Ten and a half. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Getting sufficient at live one now. Let's go get another one. Yeah, it looks like it looks like something good going on. There he is. Oh, that's a good one right there, bro. Is that a keeper? Okay, well get out of here. He got it. Go on. <laughs> hey Jacob. I think so. Hey man, ten and a half. Look, ten and a half. Nice. Let's go. watch out. Watch your foot. Oh. Hey guys, we're getting them in. We're getting them in now. What's happening? What's going on, man? Well, Same old. Yeah. yeah, we trying. Hey guys, look at there. We got two ACCs in the boat over there. Nah, they good rods, man. I, I you know, I'm sponsored by them, but it, it's not just. I don't. I don't use them just because I'm sponsored by them. I use them because I genuinely love the rods. I mean, they, they're some good rods, man. All, all sizes, too. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Look at that one, Jacob. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's a good fish, guys. That's a real good fish. Look at that pink slab city, guys. That's going to be a keeper fish, I bet. It looks like a keeper fish. Oh, look at there. Ten and a half, almost 11. There you go. Nice. Well, can we get another one, baby? These crappie are sitting right on this current break, guys. Current's coming here. Not much current coming in here. Sitting right there on it. Oh my gosh that that's a good fish 
A hundred percent, that's a good fish. Just by, oh my gosh, Jacob. Holy crap. Look at that one. <laughs> Jacob. That'll do. <laughs> Look at that, hey guys, top jig on that double jig rig right there. That's no measurement needed on that here. Open that cooler, that's, that's dang near 12 inches. You see that live well? Good fish in there. Dude, that pink, man. I'm glad I'm glad you tried it because I wouldn't I wasn't gonna use no pink. I wouldn't. Oh. Uh, it feels like a better fish. Oh. Look at that, Jacob. You measured that, that last one, right? I don't know if he gonna make it. Look, look, look at that part of that fin. <laughs> what? That's almost 10 and a half. Um, oh. Right here. Oh, it looks like you've been beat, beat up. Spawning, looks like. Watch out. Hey guys, I'm gonna have how I rig my double jig rig linked to the end of this video and now I'm, I'm not using a slip cork with it though so we're just you know when you watch that video just don't add the slip cork things for it you're just going to tie mono straight to that barrel swivel don't add anything else to it and then of course your two jigs oh, yeah. right boy that two in a row look at that <laughs> hey man hey i'm just happy I, me and my brother don't fish together much i'm just happy to be out here man but then all of a sudden we just you know figured them out guess what bro that's 10 and a, that's 10 and a quarter jacob and then what you got you got another one? Oh man I, why am i gonna measure this fish that's 12 that's 12 that's oh, three fish in a row I caught, but just letting it fall. I didn't even do it. I'm letting it fall and it's barely. I, once I tighten my line, that's when I'm going to take it. God. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that, that ain't as big, but well. <laughs> I think that's the keeper, man. Close. Watch out, Jacob. Nah. Look at there. Hey, 10 and a quarter. Look at that. Too soon. It's almost ten and a half, actually. That's another one. Let's go. Nah. Not in this river like this. Oh. Not in this river, baby. Jacob. That's a good. God, dog. Oh. That's a good one. That's a good one, guys. Look at that fish. Look at that fish, guys. Jacob, are you seeing this? I don't know why I'm going to measure it because it's 11. Feels like a good fish. Oh, oh my lord. Look at that one, guys. Ah. Woo. That's a good fish, guys. Hey, what's your name, sir? Tommy. Tommy, I got Tommy right here, guys. He said he watches the channel. Been watching for how long? Uh, over a year. Over a year? Okay. Yeah, got Tommy over there, his son. Came in from college. Uh oh. There you go. Nice. But yeah, we out here catching some fish today, guys. It's been a great day so far. There he is. Hey, that feels like a good fish. Oh, we. Look at that. What's going on? Oh, that. Oh, I got it. <laughs> That looks like a good fish, guys. Ah, we're gonna measure that one. That was a top jig. 
Look at that, Jacob. Almost 10 and a half. Uh-oh. It's almost 10 and a half, bro. Uh, just, what? Okay. is your hook bent? Check your hook. Watch out, Jacob, watch out. Dang, son. What's going on, family? Jacob and I do not know how many crappie we have, but towards the end of this video, we really got into them really good. And time out. What's your guess, bro? What's your guess? 30. 30. I'm going to say 35. Now, I'm probably going to fast forward through this a little bit, guys, but we're going to see how many we got. One. Two. Just kidding. 31. 32. 33. 33. Guys, come here. Bring the camera. 33 crappie today between my brother and I. And guess what, guys? These are not just jumbo giant crappie, okay? We're averaging probably about 11 inches of crappie. But we're talking about some good, you know, Good fillable crappie guys. 33 total. Some of these are a little bit a little bit bigger. Here's a nice male right here. Guys, there were thousands of crappie down there. And you know what? It ended up being a pretty good day. Whew. Well, what do you think, bro? Good day. Very good day, guys. Hey, I use my 66 ACC crappie sticks one piece. Alright. And my brother used the 76 one piece. ACC Crappie Sticks, guys. Go check them out, accrappiesticks.com. They got a crappie fishing rod to fit your needs. Whatever type of crappie fishing that you may be doing, ACC has it on their website. And also, Slab City Jigs. What you think about that pink? Did work. That pink did work, guys. You know what? Jacob was catching a lot more fish than me at the beginning of this video. And, I mean, I just thought, you know, that's just how fishing goes. But I went ahead and put on... I double, doubled up on the pink Slab City Jig, the 903 Stinger Series. Guys, we started catching fish left and right. We was just talking. We got 33 in the cooler, but we probably caught, we caught over 100 fish. Today. We caught over 100 fish at least, guys. And I know y'all aren't going to see all those catches on film. You know, a lot of these are going to be the keeper crappie and, you know, things of that nature. But we caught well over 100 fish today. You can go and fish these types of places on your own lakes, guys. Right now, these crappie are running up spillways in their trap. That's exactly what happened to us today. Fish finder was just covered in fish. Lots of small fish. Now, we was talking earlier as well. I bet for every 10 fish we caught today, we caught a keeper. Now, every now and then, we would double up, put two in there at a time, maybe catch two keepers in a row. But, but for the most part, I mean, I'm just saying guys there is fish everywhere and the spillways right now are going to be just like that as i explained at the beginning of this video the old riverbed okay comes into the spillway that they dammed up right patman from the sulfur river and these crappie have went up into the old riverbed to spawn now these crappie are coming out and their their post spawn pattern right there off of that current from the spillway they're in that slack water that more little stagnant water and they are just feeding up guys there was shad everywhere you could also see them on the fish finder as well but be sure to go find these types of places in the bodies of water that you fish i appreciate y'all for clicking on this video if you have it smash that thumbs up button for me i greatly appreciate it also if you're subscribed to the channel already god bless you Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. If you haven't hit that subscribe button and you love crappie fishing, but you also want to learn more about crappie fishing, this is the channel for you. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Come join the family. Like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless. All right, guys, we're about to give these fish away. What's your name? Mazi. 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 Nice to meet you, Mazi. Caleb, man. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and we're going to give all 33 of these. Mozzie and who? Jerry. Jerry? Yeah, we don't see anything. We uh, measured them all and everything. So they good. We uh, caught them all. Boat down there, as you can see, where where the meeting is. Yeah. 
<laughs> they down there. Well, we're gonna go ahead and hook y'all up, yeah. I'm I'm originally from New Boston, so I'm in for the I'm in for Easter, but I'm I'm in Tyler now. I graduated in 09, so football and everything, you know. But hey guys, I appreciate it. Jerry, Mazza, nice to meet you, man. Thank you. Y'all have a great day. Thank you.